in order for you to start making games with Phaser, you will need to have installed a web browser, I'll be using Google Chrome, a code editor and a web server. Now, when it comes to the code editor, there are many free options out there. There are many good alternatives and it doesn't matter which one you choose. You can use whichever code editor you are already familiar with. Now, when it comes to the web browser, I want to show you two ways of installing one. And also I want to explain why we need one. Well, let's start with the beginning here. What is a web browser? A web browser is simply a program that will receive requests from the browser and it will send, it will serve files as a response. It will send our game as a response. Now, why do we need one in the first place? Well, let me show you. We've got a phaser game here. And what I'm going to do is what you normally do with websites that are in your computer. You just double click on index.html and that opens it on the web browser. So let's do that and see what happens. Wow, that's not what we anticipated, right? That doesn't really look like a game. Just to give you an idea, this is what the game should be looking like, something like this. But we're not seeing any image in here. Let's go and open the developer tools to see if we are getting any errors. So as you can see, we are getting a bunch of errors here in the developer tools. They say that they, uh, the files were failed to be loaded. And the files that the browser didn't load are all of these image files. So we had a background, a player, a dragon, and other things. And what else do we get here? It says that cross-origin requests are only supported for certain protocols. So that includes HTTP and HTTPS. So the way that we are loading these files, when we double click, it uses the file protocol. And for a security reason, the browser doesn't allow you to load files in this way from the file protocol. Now you can say, oh, you know, that's very annoying. I don't like that. Well, the reason why that is in place is because if that wasn't around, imagine you go to a website and the web, any random website could have access to the files in your computer. The web would be a very dangerous place if that was the case. That is why browsers protect our files in this manner. That means that we cannot simply go and double click on a Facer game. We need to load it through a web server. The simplest way to get a web server running that doesn't require any uh, advanced technical knowledge is to install the brackets code editor. So this is a free open source code editor, which comes with a web browser inbuilt. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to open brackets. And when you open brackets the first time or any time that you want to start working, the first thing you need to do is go to file and open the folder. Find the folder that you want to serve with the web server. So I'm going to find the, the, the folder where my game is located. I already had it here. So I'm going to select that folder and that will show me all of the files here. So I should be seeing index.html and whatever other files were in my game. And then what you do is you press this live preview button. So when you press that, Brackets opens a, a Chrome page and it serves your files using a web server. So you can see that we have a, a specific URL here that this is the URL of this web server. So you could copy this and you could go to a different browser. You can open Firefox, for example, and, and, and open this and you will get the same game as well. And now um, what you normally want when you are developing the game in this way, and that is also with a normal Chrome or any browser, you want to have the developer tools open because you want to be aware of any errors or any issues that there could be. In this case, uh, this was expecting to have an, an icon file for the website, so it's not related to our game. And what's really cool about brackets is that it comes with this um, auto refreshing thing. So if I go and change anything in my game, so don't worry about the code in the game. We haven't looked at Phaser yet. I'm just showing you how, how things can be changed. So I'm, I'm going to quickly change the location of our player. So let's see if I place my player in a different location and I save and the player has been moved to another location. Now, if at one point in time you don't want to have this refreshing behavior, all you do is you simply click on that same live preview button and then the the game is still being served from the web server, but if you change things in the file and you save the files, 
the, this is no longer refreshed. So that is how you can serve files using brackets. Now, a uh, more advanced way of doing the same thing is by using a, a tool called HTTP server. So the first, the first step here would be to install Node.js. Node.js is a, a runtime that, uh, an application that allows you to run JavaScript code basically on a server, in this case in your computer. So you would need to download Node.js. This works in all platforms, by the way. It's not, it's not related to Windows. And same thing with brackets. So I, I always prefer to download the LTS version, which stands for long-term support. It means that version is going to be maintained for longer. So what you do is you download and install Node.js. Um, then if you are on a Mac, you, or, uh, you can go and open a terminal right away. If you are on Windows, I wouldn't advise using the terminal that comes with Windows. I prefer to download um, a terminal that works uh, more like a Unix system. And for that, you can use uh, the git bash terminal. So you can download git, git bash for free. And once you've downloaded and installed that, you'll get access to this nice uh, terminal. So regardless of whether you are on a Mac or on a Windows, the step that comes next is to install this HTTP tool that I was mention, mentioning. So what you do once you open your terminal, uh, first, you need to, you, if you just type npm, you need to make sure that that is uh, installed. So if you, if you get something like this, it means that it is installed. It is recognizing it as a command. And that would, that would have happened if you installed uh, Node.js correctly, basically by following the default options here. So I, I have npm installed. So now what I'm going to do is type npm install http-server. This is the name of the package we want to install. And then I'm going to type minus g, which means this means install this package everywhere in my system so I can use it in any folder. So by, if I press enter, that's going to install HTTP server. I've already I already have it installed, so I'm not going to press enter this time. And now that we have that installed, we need to navigate and find our, our folder where the game is located. So if we go here, um, the game in my case is located in the D drive www folder, phaser3 folder, cross the RPG. That's, that's where my game is located, but it obviously it'd be different in your case. So what you have to do now is navigate to that folder. And that's why I said that this option is requires some basic command line uh, knowledge. Uh, if, if you're not familiar, if, you, if you're not able to navigate to a different folder, then um, you should be using the brackets uh, alternative. So in this case, I want to go to the D drive. So I'm going to type CD D um, colon. That brings me to the D drive and then CD www. And if, if I press tab, it kind of auto completes. So I can start typing phaser and auto complete that. But in this case, I've got two phaser folders. I'm going to type phaser three. And then I'm going to type crossy RPG. And that's it. So now I'm inside that folder. And now that I'm inside the folder, I can type HTTP-server. And that's that should launch our web server for that particular folder. So I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to, I'm seeing now that the, the server is available on these different URLs. So I'm going to go and copy one of these URLs and um, go back to Google Chrome and type that URL here. And voila, we get the game now working as it should. And so when you are developing, you will want to keep your uh, code editor open and your browser open. And uh, as I said before, I like keeping the developer tools open. Um, in this case, I've opened them and they are on a different window. If I want them on the same window, you can go here and just um, place them in the, in the area where it's most um, useful to you. All right, so the challenge here for you is to follow along and make sure that you have everything set up on your end, that you have that web browser uh, running, that you are able to run a simple phaser game. And uh, once you've completed that, I will see you on the next lesson.